Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kelly Allen and welcome to this week's video. So we've done philodendron, we've done anthurium, we're going to do a cheeky little bit of monstera today. If you don't know what I'm talking about, those are the last few updates I've done and it's sunny. Hang on guys, that should do it. Hopefully we're not going to get super dark. Right, so before we start, feed in the description. If you've purchased this on Amazon, please do leave me a review. And if you have not yet purchased this on Amazon, please go and look at the reviews because I'm so, so proud of this little thing. I can't even tell you. Also, I've kind of hinted at it before, but very, very shortly, as in with like the next one to two months, I'm going to have quite a few more products coming out and I'm so excited. You'll get a video all about it, but for now, check it out, check it out. Without further ado, let's get into it. So I have some updates on some Monstera. It's not every Monstera because some of them I can't grab. They're either up to the top of the unit or they are so big you couldn't move them. So I've done my best anyway. So it's not every single Monstera I own, but it's a few. And we've got some cute little updates. So without further ado, let's go. In no particular order, let's start with this guy because he's the closest thing to me. Just want to let you know, I don't sell it anymore, but I still keep a bleaker. And this one's very, very cool. It's, I've got a couple of them and I've got one that grows quite big and round very very typical of the original oblique that I ever held up on my channel which happens to be the oblique that I held up on my channel I have one of those it's growing up a pool I can't grab it for you this I do think it's from the same plant it's just decided to grow very very differently but that's him he's looking very very cool again you can get these super cheap now so cheap guys I saw I don't know what website it was but I saw the other day, so the, I think if you ordered X amount of plants, you got a free oblique. Did you ever think that we'd get there? Obviously now in today's market, you'd think, well, yeah, prices go down. But way back then, absolutely unheard of, absolutely unheard of. So he's really cute. He's not really worth anything, but he's still worth a lot to me. So I love him very much. He grows in like a, a glass terrarium type thing. So that's probably why he looks so good. Because if he was in here, I think he'd probably get blasted by the light too much. So he's growing actually in very, very, very low light. Maybe this is why it's thinner. Although typically when things grow thinner, it's because they're in more light. But who knows? Who knows? But he's very cute. So I pop him down. Not wanting to start a war or anything, but I'm showing you a Thai constellation. This is one of the ties that I bought as a creme brulee, if you remember, ages ago. It's just one of them. The other one's actually at my house, and it's growing all right, actually. It's getting quite big now. This one, it's been quite limited. It hasn't necessarily had feeds when it should have and whatever else. It's, it's a little bit leggy, actually, which is kind of insane because it's growing under all these lights. It's getting plenty of light, and it's in moss. So it's healthy enough, as you can probably see, the roots coming out through the bottom. He's just, he's just not living his best life, really, but he's okay. There's nothing wrong with him. So that's him. I Again, I'll touch on this very briefly because I don't want to repeat myself. The whole creme brulee thing, I think it's kind of bullshit, okay? Thai, by their very nature, their variegation is extremely chaotic. I would just call it random. So yeah, all right, you might get the odd specimen that tends to boast a bit more. Personally, I wouldn't pay more for it. I just wouldn't. I just wouldn't. I think because they're so cheap now, I think nearly everyone has one of these, which is really great. But what that means is if you want to tie to sort of look a certain way, you can actually probably go to a garden center, a box store, whatever, and pick out the one you like. Just please be aware of the fact that that could drastically change. Yeah, it's, it's nice to have this. And technically, if the variegation's in the mirror stem, it probably would continue. But you, you've got no guarantees. Because when this was a baby, it was super variegated. But obviously, it's lost a lot of the variegation. And it's only just starting to pump more out. So please, please, please remember they're very chaotic. I'm going to pop him down. Actually, I'm not going to pop him down. I'm going to pop him back. Because he lives in here. I can get him into his little spot. Right. Let's continue on with MD. Because I've got... I've got some stuff. So I'm going to pick up this guy. This guy probably needs propagated. Um, I, you know what? I don't know what to think of him. I don't know. I, I know I said I'd get one of these to sort of just define my opinion on it. And I still, I still don't know what my opinion is. This here is Monstera deliciosa white monster. Basically, the trait of this plant is it will come in with leaves literally pretty much all white. It, I mean, they're not all white. They do come through with a bit more of a, a speckly vibe, like a minty vibe, I would say. They can be all white, hence this one. Sorry, I'm knocking the camera. This one is quite white here. It's got a bit of burn on it, but a lot of them will come in more like this. Um, and then they will sort of, sort of drop down, but then again, not all of them do. So I still don't have a full understanding of this plant. Let me know what your understanding is. And if you've got any experience, please leave it in the comments below because I would genuinely love to know what the hell is going on with it. I don't just have this. I have another one. I see it from here. Where did he go? Oh, he's over there. There's some more in that tray. 
and there's another one somewhere else. I don't know where he went, but... Oh no, I've got him here. I've got him here, I'll pick him up in a second. What's he like? He's doing the same shit, so I don't know what I think of him. Do they grow well? Yeah, they're quite slow, to be honest. I think these are large form. Could be wrong. I think they are large form. It certainly looks like it's growing as large form. You can tell by how tight this is here, look. This is super, super, super tight. Let me get the other one to show you. I do have more than these two guys. It's just a lot of them are like one leaf or whatever. So I have this. Again, these are susceptible to burn. I can definitely tell you that because there's just so much white on them. So here, this is an original leaf I've propagated from and it's actually remained quite... Would you say mottled? I don't know what you would say that is. And we've had some new ones in and it stayed white. So you can understand why I'm a little bit confused about the process of this plant and how they fade down because some of them kind of stay white, some of them don't. Like you wouldn't really think that was part of the same plant. And then we have this one that's grown next here. And then we have this new one that's actually quite long. It's a bit weird. I don't think it's anything special that's grown in there. And you can see it's going to be quite patchy and quite green. So I'll try and cover my face. Hopefully you can see the colours in that. It's all just a bit weird. It's not my favourite, going to be completely honest. I think they still have a bit of value, if anybody's wondering, but I don't think it's insane. I'm sure you can pick one up for like very, very early treble digits. So very early three digits. So over a hundred, whatever, I think, dollars, euros, whatever. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I'm genuinely kind of guessing. So feel free to correct me if you want. But I just don't know what to think about these. So I want to update you on them because I picked the other one up. They are cute. Obviously, this is better specimen for me because I just think the colours are nicer than this. I, I, this is not my vibe. This just makes me think, and I'm sure you're the same at home, there's something wrong with it and it needs propagated back, right? This one is much nicer. If I was going to take one home, it would be this one, but I'm not convinced, guys. Maybe it might look sexier when it gets bigger and more mature. Maybe that's just something that I need to wait for. I don't know. If you think I should take one to my house and just grow it out, let me know. I'd probably pick that one, to be honest. This is definitely the, the better one that's starting to mature. Let me know. Maybe I could do it anyway. Because if no one's caught it yet, I'm on a bit of a Monstera kick at the moment, and I have no idea why. Monstera are probably one of the more aggressive plants you could ever put in a household environment. And my kick to be further threatened is mainly for large form. So you can imagine how that's going to go, guys. Right, I'll pop these down. While we're in between talking about plants, I want to talk to you about something I learned this month on none other than Skillshare. Skillshare is an ad-free online learning community full of tons and tons and tons of classes and subjects. You can find anything from classes on propagating houseplants to organizing workflow for a project you're working on, or even just indulging yourself in a brand new hobby. There's a really extensive range of topics, so you're bound to find something that you're looking for. You're probably going to laugh at this, but I was actually really interested in improving my photography skills for Instagram, because let me tell you, I am really, really bad it. Video skills do not transfer to photography skills, at least for me personally. But on Skillshare, I found a really great class. The class is from Tabitha Park on how to create good-looking photographs of houseplants for your Instagram. She covers everything from a list of shots to do, composition, different types of shot, prepping your plant for photographs, and even selfies with your plants. Because why not? What's better is the workshop doesn't require any fancy equipment, just your phone, a plant, and a light source, i.e. literally a window. So all you need is one of these to get started. She takes you through everything from what settings to use on your phone to how to improve it in the Instagram editor, which I find really helpful as well because I don't spend any time in there, so I, most of the time I don't even know what stuff does. It's a really useful class for literally anybody taking pictures of their plants for social media that just wants to give them a little bit of pushage, which is probably most of us, I'm guessing. Best part is is you can try Skillshare for free. Use my link on screen and in description and the first 500 people will get a free trial. So if you'd like to explore what Skillshare has to offer, please do click the link and check it out. Thank you very much, Skillshare, and back to the plants. There we go. Uh, oh, we'll, we'll go back to one of the little guys. He represents, honestly, I had such a beautiful bush of this plant literally two days ago. And if I filmed this video earlier, you would have seen the most beautiful little plant. But I've done some props. So unfortunately, I have two leafers and one leafers. But this here is variegated Ansonii. I still stand by this plant, if anyone wants to know what I think. I think it's still got a little bit of value, actually. You can make a bit of cash selling a cutting, like a head cutting or something like that. I probably wouldn't be selling single leaf. But if you took a head cutting, you'd sell it. I think you'd, you'd make a little bit of cash, not tons, but enough to, you know, pay for something. I don't know. I don't know. I can't be specific. But I really like these plants. They still grow really quick. They size up really well. They respond really well. They keep 
variegation really well, especially in this setting. You don't get all white leaves too often. I'm saying it, and as I'm on camera saying it, this is largely white. <laughs> is largely white. I have a couple, but generally they're, they're a little bit more stable. Do I have a more stable one? Hang on. Oh, here's a recently sold one that is a lot more stable here, actually. Oh, he's rooting even still. This is a little bit better. This is something I'd feel more comfortable selling because it's gone a little bit less white, but the, you know, you could cut that back and still have plenty. So it's kind of up to you what you want to do with it. That's maybe a nicer example than the one I've picked up. But either way, still love them. I have loads. They're, they're probably not even going to be long till they're ready, to be honest, like a month or something. Everything like that in here just grows like stink. So where does this go? This goes here because it's sold. Put him back. We'll pop the other one back so I don't lose him because he's a new cutting. Right. Next plant, next plant. Ooh. I'm going to do this one. So this guy here, he's beautiful. We love him. We love him. But he's... He's very slow, okay? He's very, very slow. I cut this on and I actually did a little experiment. I put the date in as to when I cut him to see how well he roots. And he is starting to root quite well. I cut him on the 7th of the 5th, so the 7th of May. Well, we're now in June. So he's had a, he's had about six weeks or so to root and he's he's done it. But it's taken him it's taken him a little while. So this is Monstera Burley Marks Flame. He is very small. There's not a lot to him. I simply took a head cutting of one that I had and I wanted it small because when I'm adding Monstera to my collection, I need something that grows slow. And I'm happy for it to be this guy. I'm more than happy. I don't... There's a lot of things I would improve about this plant in terms of like this ratio here generally. They're beautiful plants, but it takes a while to get them going. Some people do say, I don't know what you're talking about, they grow like stink, but I, I think generally the, the bell curve of experience for most people is that they don't. For me, they're slow. I've got good rooting, I'm obviously not going to show you. It's actually only wobbly because I checked it two days ago and I sort of took it all out and repotted it because it had one big root just growing along the bottom of the tray like that. So I've sort of tried to put him in again. So he's, he's gone wobbly again, but he'll be fine. He's not done anything since I put him in here. I put him in with three leaves. It looks like he could be pregnant soon. He could, he could. We'll see how he goes. Hopefully I don't get too much of a dwarfed growth, but it is a really, really pretty plant. I just think you really got to have the tolerance for it. So it's not for everybody. It's, it's not one that I would recommend to everybody. If you know what I mean, it's it's for, it's for a collector, you know what I'm saying? If we have any of those anymore that class themselves as collectors, not like, oh yeah, collect houseplants. Do you know what I mean? Collectors. I know what I mean. Right, pop him down. This guy, this guy's going to be very wobbly because I took a propagation of him precisely two days ago when I did my propagation pass. This beautiful boy is a little head cutting of an, a very immature, very juvenile Monstera aurea. Now these are small form. I have large form, but they cannot, I cannot pull it out of one of the trays. I was also going to show you one of my beautiful Monstera green on green variegation because I love that. I can't get it out of the tray, guys. I can't get out of the tray, but I managed to take propagations of my small form Aurea, and that's what these are. I think, to be honest, these are going to sell as soon as they root because of, there's some really nice head cuttings and there's some really good variegation. Like, I have so many of them, I've been able to be very lazy and just propagate the really nice ones with good variegation and just take their heads off. So there's a couple of single leaves that I'm propagating, but most of them are like this. So, and they're very affordable now as well, if it's something you want. And I know I say this all the time, not everybody likes yellow variegation, but you know, some people do. So I'm still going with them really. And they look so nice like this. You can't really not. It's quite a nice size up on that as well. So that's him. Not a lot to say. And when I say he represents loads, he represents loads. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven trays. Seven trays full of these guys that are tall like this. It's just they're not really in a position to sell them as is because they're not leggy, but they've sort of had to grow around each other. So if you were to pull an individual plant out, they're probably not going to look their best. So the best thing to do is to take head cuttings of a lot of them. So that's him. Very, very cute. Oh, you know what? This next plant is probably one of the least impressive plants in the video, but I'm really, really happy with him. So this here, I don't know if you can tell what he is. It should say on the tag. I just don't know if it's going to focus on the tag. This here is Monstera Brazil, common form. I don't know if that's actually the name, but that's the name I've been running with. So basically Monstera Deliciosa Brazil, common form. I don't know. I've had propagations of this going for a long time, and this is the only one, guys, that sprouted, literally. I'm going to put it back as I talk, because I'm actually going to try and pick the big one up. Also, I have clothes on. It's just so hot in here. I've had to put shorts on, but, you know, contain yourselves and all that. Right, so I'll pop that back in there. Nothing else has sprouted. It's really pissing me off, because this whole tray here, apart from this up front and this, it's all common form props. 
So that really annoys me. But I will show for you very quickly. Give me one moment. One quick moment because I'm going to move some stuff off here. I should have prepped this better. And I'll put this stool here, maybe here. Let's find out. And I will show you the one that I repotted a while ago that, oh my God, it's not doing anything. It's really annoying me. There we go. Let's have a look. How close do I need to get him so that you can see him? I can't see shit. Right, hang on. Got a problem now because he's growing towards the light so I can't even show you his leaves, I don't think. It's not ideal, this. Can you even see him here? There. That, honestly, is the best I'm going to be able to do for you guys. Move him over here so I can stand with him. This is his newest leaf. This is Monstera Brazil common form, you call it. I've been trying to tell people what the differences are, and as I've always maintained, it is subtle, okay? It's not the most obvious difference on planet Earth. It is quite subtle. But basically, the differences I can see is the the way that the lobes are here, and um, certainly when they come in juvenile, like, can you see this one? They come in a lot flatter, generally. This is much flatter than a lot of MD that I've seen. And the fenestrations are extremely gappy. Like, they'll hold it up so light passes through it. Extremely, extremely gappy. That's basically the only difference. Uh, also, it grows pretty slow. I won't lie to you. I'm not gonna lie. It grows really, really slow. I repotted this. I can only assume I did it on camera in a repot a while ago and it's done nothing. It's done nothing. It's been fed as well. It's done nothing. All it's done is it's given me one aerial. I appreciate this isn't sat flush to the pole, but due to the way it grew, I kind of couldn't do it. So, I mean, it's not terrible, but it's just not done anything yet. I, it can't be long, you know, guys. It can't be long. It really can't. But that's him. That's basically the same thing as the little tiny boy that I just showed you. It's just slow. I do love it and I know there's people looking for it because I've spoken to a couple of people about it, but it's slow. But again, not the most terrible thing being slow because some people want slow plants because we don't want to deal with them overgrowing poles. Completely get it. So if you're looking for something like that, you might want to consider this one. And I implore you to look it up on Instagram because Instagram has a lot of pictures of what they look like, providing it's a proper one. I take that. And they're really, really cool. So let me know what you think of them. I personally like them. A lot of people are like, oh, you know, they're not different enough or whatever, but I think they're cool. I quite like those. So for me, it's good. All right, let me move him because I don't think we need him. Right, what else have we got? Ooh, I'm going to show you the, the basic beach and I'm going to show you my favorite monstera of the day. So let's grab this one. And I'm only mentioning him, guys, because he's there and I should probably include him, but he's really nice. He's probably going off as a gift, this guy. You know who you are. Um, but this is my a cutting of anyway, some monstera elbow. And it's literally just that. There's nothing special. He's grown a lot. Don't know what I'm going to do with him. A little bit of rot on the bottom of there. That's nice, isn't it? Love that. Love that for me. Um, but generally, he's fine. He's taken a long ass time, but I don't think he's been fed much because they were just elbow props. I'm going to be honest, I probably didn't feed them very much, so that's not great. But what's there is nice enough, and the continuation we've got from this is actually really, really nice. So although it's small, it's a hellish cute little leaf to have fenestrated, even though it's small. Look at that. Oh, it's so cute. But that's him anyway, so he just he just chills. There's, there's no reason to have him, really. I did always say I would start off an elbow again. I should still probably try and do that at some point because mine is still sort of, you can probably see it in the edge of the frame. He's not doing so good. But I do have a lot of these. So this one's probably going off as a gift, but I have more and I should probably get around to doing that. But I want to hold him up because he's just really sweet, really. I quite like him. But for me, star of the show, you know, discounting any other nice large forms I've got that I honestly cannot show you because I cannot move a large form. I'm sure you can appreciate that. Is this guy. This guy is my pride and joy. I have more than one of these. I have a couple in the back that are throwing me half moon leaves, but I really want to show you this one because he's gorgeous. This here is Monstera Mint and he's had a good journey, which was his first leaf. So I've propagated from this leaf here. I'll just show you that up close. That's what we started with. We then had, we had a shit one look. We had this. Not so good, not so good. We've then had this one. Not so good, not so good. But all of a sudden, guys, bosh. Again, variegation in plants. It's really annoying. It's really annoying because it is chaos. Because, don't get me wrong, there was a good chunk of variegation in the Merisem here. If you, hopefully you can see that. There was a good chunk. Sorry, I've got something running on my ceiling. It's really annoying. There was a good chunk of variegation, but that doesn't mean to say you're going to get it. Doesn't mean to say you're going to get it. But I absolutely love this guy. I need to cut him soon, but I can't cut him yet because I need him for some marketing photos. So I will just have to leave him for a bit because I do want to keep propagating for him because he's great. I have one of these in my house, but it's quite shitty variegation. It's maybe... 
oh, I don't know, it's, it's less than that anyway, but it's not quite as bad as that. So it's somewhere in between that and that is what I have in my house. But if I don't like it or it grows shit, I'll just swap it for a better one. Why not? Why not? But I really want to show you this because honestly, this is actually my favorite. And I've said, I've said a lot of shit about mint over the years. Um, and obviously my, my opinions still stand on things like, you know, mint Florida ghost and all that because it's not real. Mint Monstera, if you get a real one, it is real. There's a lot out there that aren't. And be very careful if you want to buy one. I'd certainly be asking to see a full plant of the mother, 100%. Because even I've got a couple that don't seem to be full mint. This one is. And the other cuttings from this absolutely are full mint. I'll pick up one more in a second. So just be careful because you can you can get it wrong, trust me. They don't, I don't think they're as much as they used to be. And I do think you can make a little bit of money off them if you want. They are a little bit slow. They're not quite as quick as Albo, but they're not horrific. There's a lot of other Monstera that grow slower than these, but how cute. He might have to be the thumbnail because he's so cute. Really, really cute. Let me pick up another one of them. As I say, I need to cut these, but I haven't yet. So we've got this little boy that, I mean, ugh, this is problematic. This has gone too far. It's a shame because this leaf's gorgeous. This is one of them here. Again, it it, it needs cut. This, this is the newest leaf. We can't be having this on a mint. It's not going to work. It's not a white monster. Remember, it's a wind. It's a wind. It's a mint. So that's his old leaf. Very, very cute. Pop him back. He's growing beautifully in nurture system, though, I've got to say. And another one would be... Oh, can I even pick him up? Hang on, guys. Can I? Can I? Can I? Yes, I can. He's just... <sighs> He's a little bit insane. As you can see, they've been here a little while. There's another one, but that's his newest leaf. Can I just, can I just? You need to see this. How amazing is that? Now, again, I won't bore you, don't worry. I'm not a fan of half moons. I think if you've got a plant that you're not cutting from, great, have at it. If you're a propagator, not great. It's not great. It just causes problems. It's not how I prefer to have my leaves for any reason, but hey-ho. It's what he hath given us, so it's what we work with. I have a couple of little sprigs that have opened up as well, but there's a new leaf on that one. Nothing, nothing amazing to note. I think those are the best ones. Hang on. I need to put him in straight. He's going to be a right problem for me. Oh, he's lovely though. Can you see him? Ugh. I'm taken out by a plant. Can you see him? Yeah, I hope you can. It looks like you can if that's him there. He's very, very pretty. He's so pretty. And that is about it for my Monstera collection update video. Again, there are more than what I've shown you. It's one day I'll bring them down. <laughs> it just depends. Soon, guys, you will see the plants in my house. I'm still sort of prepping them. At the moment, I'm focusing on moving them in there and letting them grow into spots a little bit so it doesn't look like that. I'd rather be a bit more... You know, you, you know, you know. If you take pictures for Instagram, then you know. But anyway, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Please leave any comments you like in the description. If you like this video, please leave a like down below. It lets me know that I'm making content you enjoy. And if you haven't already, I'd love it if you could subscribe. Remember to check out Skillshare. The link is down below. First 500 people get a free month of it. So please do give it a click. And I guess that's it for this week's video, guys. I will see you in the next one. I will love you and leave you. Bye.